Hey guys, it's Stephen and Phil here, back on footy.com with a very big shirt review for you today. Uh, yesterday, Arsenal dropped their stunning new uh, home kit for 2019-24. They're back with Arsenal. Oh, yes. It's happened, it's oh, happened. Yes. So, uh, we're going to run through that too, but don't forget if you are a fan of football shirts and all that kind of stuff, subscribe to footy.com's YouTube channel. What you're watching right now, hit the subscribe button below us for all kit reviews for next season, including Cities, which we done yesterday, <coughs> Cities, Awake It Tomorrow, PSG coming up, and all that kind of stuff. Basically, loads of football shirt content and all mm. that kind of thing but I'm getting distracted already looking at the pictures for this shirt because it's really really nice uh, this is one of the contenders uh, for the best home shirt of 2019-20 mm. in the Premier League um, I'm going to hand yep. it over to the man who's been dying to talk about this shirt <laughs> uh, Phil Delves what is your take on this very modern twist on Arsenal's classic look you're spot on this is definitely already a contender for one of the best shirts of the year and mm -hmm. it sounds like a kind of exaggeration but honestly since the leaks a lot of excitement has been building and the video which you probably saw over the weekend that was leaked as well uh, did this did this kit justice. There's a lot to digest. It's very much a classic look, but at the same time, it's been really well executed for Madidas. I think we talk a lot about how good retro thing retro kits look and details that you know fans of the club will appreciate and fans of shirts in general. But to actually do it this well, and particularly in the first year since they've gone back to Madidas, yeah. is a really good job. So it ticks really all the nostalgia buttons, haven't oh, it? Oh, they have. Yeah. I mean, the thing is. And I can't think of the exact year, but there's a there's an early '90s Arsenal home kit which I've got in mind, and it is very similar to this. But as you as you mentioned in the intro, it's a modern take on that, and there are some really nice little little details. And I think you know if I'm looking at this shirt, I honestly can't think of many ways Adidas could have improved this. At least yeah. um, when you think about what, what Arsenal fans will, will love, and, and fans again of shirts in general, is that when Adidas and Arsenal. Uh, worked together in the 90s they quite simply were one of the best combos in the 90s so it's a really welcome yeah. return to form and a real a real improvement on last year I think yeah I said to Phil um I've come earlier that something about it doesn't quite click in my head even though I, li I like it mm. I think it's something like the black trims around the uh, stripes and the collar mm -hmm. I just can't I, I can't quite put my finger on mm -hmm. what it is about it but something makes yeah. it look a, li a little bit knock off a tiny bit like sure. i feel like i see this on a shelf somewhere uh on holiday but <laughs> like it's um it's obviously a really nice kit but mm. i can't place what it is i feel like it's yeah. this is some tiny detail but sometimes something something bugs you subconsciously and you can't work out mm. it is even though i actually admit the design's really clean the mm. symmetry is really nice um there's lots of lovely little details yeah in. i think it's little things like maybe there's um black around the collar and not around the white shoulder well, bits. I was just thinking that. I think, something, something about it doesn't pop right. Yeah, there, and I think, I think the cuffs, and I think when a lot of people look at this kit, they go, oh, that's a really nice retro kit. Uh, but actually, it's quite a, a sort of distinct design to go with, like you say, that. That's it. I've just realised what it is. It yeah, feels yeah. already like a retro shirt remake sure, than it does sure. an actual shirt. I can't put it in quite what it is, but it feels okay, like yeah. you're watching yep. a free retro score draw kind of shirt. Right, right. And I can't quite work out why, but yeah, it feels like it's already trying to be nostalgic. Yeah, it's not and I, I think the one thing I would say, I guess, to counter, although I think it is a fair point, is that I think... Do you know what I mean by that? Sort of like, well, I yeah, I do, yeah. And I think... I think um, as I say, in, in defence, or you know, at least from my view of the show, which I, and I do think your opinion is quite fair there. But um, no, I think when it comes to this design, so yeah, <laughs> I, um, I think the one thing which, and I'll mention Puma and their Arsenal kits, I think the one thing that that was missing, and it sounds obvious, but there was a lot of things which weren't very Arsenal. They were very bad with their sleeves. Yeah. They, yeah, did, yeah, they, they did a bad job of kind of getting that, what is essentially a very Arsenal feature in the distinct white sleeves uh, and red and a red. A chest, you know, it sounds obvious, but you go back and look yeah. at the, the Puma Arsenal, they didn't do that. And I think what I like is that even though, as you say, it's interesting having the three stripes in, in plain white and then that other detail with the black trim. But I think given given the link to the previous kit and also just the fact that the yeah. other details have been folded in really well, so the sponsors, even the C sponsor, it doesn't add yeah, to the design. Yeah, it, 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 it doesn't well. take away, yeah. does it? Yeah, and I think, I think what I really like as well is it would have been very tempting and a lot of kits, there is a trend to sort of make a design very busy with patterns and things like that. Actually, Which you usually like, to be fair. I do usually like, and I think what, what I would, what I've also enjoyed though is, I guess, as that's risen, kits like this and West Ham's away kit have actually sort of almost, I guess, balanced the scale and they've, they've chose a really nice red. I know it sounds odd, but like, no, no. Right, it's, a, it's a nice red. Honestly, I, these things can be, what these, just these said, can be different. Despite like, I do like this kit and like, mm. I, something subconscious sometimes gets into you sure. and you don't know what it is and it just 
I mean, you can't quite place your finger on it. Yep. Having said that, if, if I was an Arsenal fan now, this I'd be in love with this. I'm almost saying because it took every nostalgic box. Yep. It's clean. It's glassy. It's um, it's just a very beautiful shirt. Definitely. Mm. Uh, the integration once again of the sponsors, obviously sleeve and on the front, mm. and the crest looks really nice. Um, it's it's just a really nice shirt. There's yeah. very little wrong with it. I, I, th- I think it's it's a very confident shirt. It's not trying to do too yeah. many things. It, you know, clearly, and even in the, the press photos, you know, there. Um, actually, there's not too much to sort of they need to do apart from yeah. share it in situ, you know, it, with with players and and fans and models. It it really looks strong. Even Idris Elba, he's not in the shirt there, but that's a good, <laughs> you know. And I think I think and a lovely look close up there. You see a bit of the fabric, which incidentally looks a lot like United United home shirt. It does indeed. Uh, the honeycomb the, the thing. Honeycomb thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. But um, yeah, really strong. I think as you say, it's one which fans will really love. And to be honest, I think even if you know fans of other teams. Um, We'll be, be quite jealous of this, I think, because actually, yeah. a lot of clubs and maybe that's you know, what it is. Maybe I'm just inherently jealous. <laughs> maybe. Like, well, I think there's a there's an art to actually going down the sort of fan pleasing route, but not actually messing it up, and yeah. that can easily be done. And honestly, I think Adidas have got the balance right. No, they've got it right. This is definitely a good shirt. Um, they've come out swinging, basically, knowing mm. that a uh, fan. Uh, fan service would be a good bet here and they've gone down that interesting people did it with City which is interesting mm. uh, they went totally the opposite way <laughs> uh, but yeah I think they've nailed this so this is the bit where we give it a score so the top of the leaderboard is where we're going to be looking at based on everything Phil's just said so we've got West Ham currently London's finest up there at the top mm. uh, the way kit 94 uh, then PSV's away kit Umbro AC Milan Puma 90 Roma into Ajax uh, a bunch of contenders around there Um Yep. Where is this one fitting, Phil? I think I've got a score. Have you already got a score in your head? Uh, I'm just weighing up as you speak. Yeah, I think... Yeah. So we talked about, is this the best home shirt? I think looking at this list, it would only have to be, in terms of the Premier League anyway, uh, I think West Ham's at 86. Yeah. So it's I've definitely a, the best home shirt. I've is got it a score the best and I know what, shirt? What though? I would give it. Mm. What I think you should give it, at least. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, like, so is this your score, what you think but, oh, I should give well, it? Yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of twisting the rules a little bit. <laughs> That's okay. But uh, you okay. still give your score, obviously. Well, I, I think, think, I think, I'm going to say, I think it should be, and I'll give you the reasons why. I think it should okay. be 89 because I think in terms of classic simpleness, I think Ace Milan does it mm. better. But that's okay. my reasoning in terms okay. of home kit. But that's, that's a good score. But, well, you got higher so, than that, are you? I'm going to edge it higher. Not too much higher. I think when I think about this shirt, and again, there's not many shirts obviously in the 90s, only three there. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think you're absolutely right to mention Ace Milan because it's a similar direction. Um, but I'll be honest, I think I'm going to edge it above that. And, okay. and actually, when I look that. at this, I do prefer it to PSV's Away kit. PSV's Away kit, I think was a sort of personal bias definitely came into that yeah um, no I do think this is strong I'm not going to give it as high as West Ham's no, away no West Ham's some about it just feels, um, feels right yeah I think that's more memorable but this is actually going to go quite high actually at 92 92 um, I think I knew I had a feeling which incidentally there. I think their home shirt in 92 was this design or at least very similar but anyway I do <laughs> think um, I think this is really good and you know there's not many home shirts to come uh, this is probably going to be so at least my favourite. got Spurs left out of the big Spurs, which has been leaked. Um, but yeah, that's coming. Um, uh, well, awesome. that, um, Wolves would we'll be interesting. Wolves, yeah. um, um, the the Premier League teams. Uh, won- Norwich and Villa. So you Champions never know United one of the new boys. released as well, actually, today. So we've we'll got yeah. to that later this week as well. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, in the Premier League, we're kind of nearly there. We've probably missed yeah. someone, so apologies to anyone we missed there. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, can, I, I was expecting around in the 90s, to be honest. I don't think it's as good as West Ham's away, but 92 seems fair, given the fact that I'm arguing for 89, which is so close to unbelievable. <laughs> so anyway, um, or maybe 90, I would have given it personally. Hmm. Like there with Ace yeah. Milan's. Anyway, that's just uh, two idiots' opinions there. What's your uh, idiotic opinion? Let us know in the comments below. Go check out the Manchester City uh, home shirt review, which you've done. And any of those on the kit rankings that we've just had on the screen, they'll all be there mm. as well in our playlist for the 2019-20 kit reviews. That one up over there on the wall is mm. coming next, which is City's um, crazy Hassy Ender inspired <laughs> away kit. I'm going to pop it on uh, and we're going to go and review that video. That'll be coming tomorrow, so make sure you subscribe to 40.com in a bit. <laughs>